His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The letter was presented to King Salman at Al Salam Palace in Jeddah by Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ambassador conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamid to the Saudi monarch. King Salman asked the ambassador to convey his own greetings to King Hamid. Present were the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Saudi Minister of Culture and Media, Dr. Adil Al Tarafi, and Minister of State, Cabinet Member and Head of the Royal Court, Khalid Al Issa. The Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Rafah Palace today a delegation from the Bahraini British Friendship Society led by Peter Sincock. His Royal Highness commended the growing Bahraini British relations in all fields, which are enhanced by the supportive stances of both countries and their mutual interest in expanding avenues of cooperation and coordination. His Majesty the King's Deputy noted that the relationship between Bahrain and Britain is marking its 200th anniversary, a milestone of special importance to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Queen Elizabeth II. He said that continuing to exchange visits between the two countries at all levels reflected the deep-rooted bilateral relations. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Bahraini British Friendship Society and its work to strengthen the ties between the two countries. For his part, Mr. Sincock thanked His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid for his reception, which reflected Bahrain's keenness to reinforce relations with the United Kingdom. The deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, also received at Rifar Palace today new board members of Bahrain Medical Society, led by Dr. Mohammed Rafi. His Royal Highness congratulated them on winning the trust of doctors and medical staff to lead the Bahrain Medical Society and perform its role. He affirmed the significant role of professional societies in taking care of the kingdom's development commending the contributions of Bahraini doctors in reinforcing the achievements of the health sector. He noted the importance of building on these achievements and continuing to develop the health sector in order to sustain and preserve the quality of the services provided to citizens. The Deputy of His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of medical staff within the Kingdom to perform the humanitarian mission of the medical profession. For their part, the audience thanked His Royal Highness for his visions of developing the national health sector confirming the new board's readiness to keep supporting the development and modernization process of the sector and the Bahrain Medical Society. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today several members of the royal family, senior state officials, journalists and businessmen to discuss a number of national issues. The Prime Minister stressed that the voice of the citizens is heard because Bahraini society is based on democracy and freedom of expression and opinion. He said that nations are not measured by their geographic size but by their stances and achievements. He noted that the kingdom's continuing success is based on the wisdom of its king and the efforts of its government, which is supported by the people. His Royal Highness called for more investment in the medical and health sector 
by encouraging international health centres and advanced treatment centres to open branches in the Kingdom. He highlighted the steady development of the national health sector, calling for further expansion of all medical specialities and for medical staff training, as well as the establishment of more hospitals and health centres to meet the demands of the people. The Prime Minister stressed that the Kingdom must maintain its excellent position in various fields of development by keeping pace with global updates. He also noted Bahrain's efforts to create the best environment for future generations to flourish, based on the principles of hard work and the spirit of giving, supported by knowledge which will empower them to deal with all sorts of challenges in order to achieve the best interests of their country. He said that Bahrain's achievements in the field of comprehensive development embodied its ability to overcome all obstacles and build a vibrant and sustainable foundation. He noted that ongoing development projects and Bahrain's success in attracting more foreign investment are indicators of the strength of the national economy and its ability to deal with all challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabia Palace a delegation representing residents of Shakura village, led by the first Deputy Chairman of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi. His Royal Highness affirmed the cohesion of Bahrain society against all attempts against its unity and affirmed the government's keenness to meet the requirements of citizens in all fields. The Shahura residents hailed His Royal Highness's leading role in boosting the Kingdom's international status in various fields. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of cementing cohesion and solidarity in the best interests of the Kingdom and its citizens. The Shahura citizens expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his steadfast keenness to examine citizens' needs and requirements.
The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Asala, chaired the Council's weekly meeting in which the Council approved a report on amending Decree by Law 3 of 1972 regarding legal fees. The Council also approved Decree by Law 28 of 1999 on establishing and regulating industrial areas. The meeting then approved cancellation of Article 353 of Decree by Law 15 of 1976 regarding the Penal Code. The Minister of Housing, Basim al hamamab paid a visit today to the villages of Ali and Sanad to ascertain the needs and housing requirements of citizens, following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in accordance with the government's programme. The Minister briefed residents on the Ministry's plans and strategies, reassuring them that the Ministry is exerting every effort to facilitate all housing projects. Mr al Hama explained that the housing plan is focused on implementing new housing projects in new Bahrain citizens, cities, which will enable the ministry to grant thousands of housing applications to those on the waiting lists. The minister then listened to the suggestions and recommendations of the citizens, affirming that citizens come first and their needs are at the top of the priorities. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. Bahrain's All Shares Index closed today at 1,109.78 points, falling 1.68 points below last week's closing level. The fall occurred across the investment, services and commercial banking sectors, although investors did trade mainly in commercial bank shares, amounting to 61% of total share value traded. And in total today, there were 18 transactions involving 313,498 shares worth 142,957 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. There were 10 individual categories in all, with all three main awards going to representatives from the top three sides of the 2015-16 campaign. Al Ahli's Cosman took home Coach of the Year. Al Ain's Omar Abdurrahman was voted Emirati of the Year, and Al Wahda Sebastian got the nod for the Foreign Player of the Year. Majid Nasser from Al Ahli won Best Goalkeeper, and Mohammed Akbari from Al Wahda named Best Under 21 Player. It's the second time Abdurrahman has received the accolade after winning the same prize in 2012 13. 